When it comes to marketing, I mean, I would, I would argue, perhaps objectively, that you may be the greatest legal marketer of all time if you're looking at just pure case acquisition. So I'm curious, in terms of when you're approaching a marketing campaign, whether it's Size Matters or some of the NIL deals or the UFC, like how do you approach that and how do you determine if something's a good idea versus a bad idea? Well, what we do is we have an entire creative team. Three times a month, we have a Zoom meeting with my creative director, the person who pulses cases every day, pulses what ads are running, my son Daniel, and a guy named Ruben Moskowitz. And during these creative meetings, we come up with what's going to be next. When we like an ad, when we like an idea, it goes like this. If we see a, if I see something that would make me nervous as a competitor, I like it. Uh, yesterday, I had a Zoom call for creative, and they had an idea. The billboard was, Morgan gets more. Well, I, I didn't like that, because that would not have made me shiver as a competitor. Size matters. When I saw size matters, I loved it, and that would make me shiver. Why did I do size matters? Because we're the largest injury firm in America. We were going to do bigger's better. But that trademark was taken. Everybody thinks I went straight to size matters. I really was going to do bigger's better. And uh, but when I did size matters, America's largest injury firm. When I saw that ad in concept, I said that's an ad that I would not like to have to compete against. And so I went with that. There you go. And I want to talk about some of the NIL deals. So being able to get. Sports teams involved, players. I know here in local, Jordan Davis, who played for the Georgia Bulldogs, he's on a size matters billboard. He's, I think he's like 6'6, 340 pounds. But I guess, what, what are your thoughts on that? Has that been helpful in, in the local markets? We think so. In, in the beginning, it's getting crazy. I mean, we did a deal when it first happened. I was the first NIL advertiser. We won the award last year. And it was low-hanging fruit because these kids had never really been out there. They all now have agents, and the agents are getting a piece. And so it's getting more competitive. But we like the NIL because everybody loves their team. Everybody has a tribe they want to be part of, and it's, and it's local. Uh, I was up in Kentucky a couple of weeks ago with – addressing the Kentucky basketball team. We're doing a big NIL deal with Kentucky and Calipari. So we like the NIL, but one of the kids who we did a deal with once, the next year he came back and said, his agent said he wanted a million dollars for the next year. I said, no, thanks, but no thanks. Make a long story short, we ended up doing it for $10,000, not a million, but uh, you got to ask you know, for the world. But so... We like NIL. We like the fighting. The uh, fighting. We do. A, we got a big campaign in Boston with the Red Sox. We're in arenas, so more for top of the mind and just let the community know we're in your community.